While any tangible thing that can be stolen in Texas may be charged under Penal Code Section 31.03 theft, the legislature passed several specialty laws starting with the 84th session that are sometimes called boutique laws, since they apply to very specific items. In this screencast, we'll discuss two of these, cargo theft and theft of petroleum product. First, under the offense of cargo theft, cargo means a commercial shipment of freight moving in commerce, and moving in commerce means at any point between the point of origin and final destination. Think of the context for cargo theft this way. Why steal one of something when you could steal an entire truckload of it? According to the Penal Code, a person commits cargo theft when they knowingly or intentionally conduct, promote, or facilitate an activity in which the person receives, possesses, conceals, stores, barters, sells, abandons, or disposes of stolen cargo, or cargo represented as being stolen. Cargo theft is also committed by a person who is employed as a driver and who knowingly or intentionally fails to deliver part of the cargo to the known point of destination or causes the seal to be broken on the shipping container or vehicle. Cargo theft is graded by the cost of property stolen, which may include the truck itself. This graphic shows felonies of the first degree through third degree, which are the only offenses specified for this offense. Note, this ladder is not the standard value ladder you're used to seeing. It is a cargo theft ladder and has heavier penalties than the regular theft statute. So under certain circumstances, for instance, a theft of cargo worth $140,000, the offense would be a felony of the second degree under the cargo theft ladder, but only a felony of the third degree if charged under the regular theft statute. Pause the screencast to review the chart. Cargo theft is enhanced to the next level if the defendant organized, supervised, financed, or managed at least one other person. It is not a defense that the offense occurred as a result of an undercover sting, including use of an undercover officer. That the actor was provided a facility by law enforcement as part of an undercover sting, or that the actor was solicited or encouraged by an undercover officer to commit the offense. The next specialty offense is theft of petroleum product. For the purposes of this offense, petroleum product means crude oil, natural gas, or condensate. A person commits this offense if the person unlawfully appropriates a petroleum product with intent to deprive the owner of the petroleum product by possessing, removing, delivering, receiving, purchasing, selling, moving, concealing, or transporting the petroleum product or making or causing a connection to be made with or drilling or tapping or causing a hole to be drilled or tapped in a pipe, pipeline, or tank used to store or transport a petroleum product. The Penal Code further states, appropriation of a petroleum product is unlawful if it is without the owner's effective consent. Theft of petroleum is graded by the cost of the product stolen. This graphic shows felonies of the first degree through state jail felonies which are the only levels specified for this offense.